Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video, I assembled my new Prusa MK3S printer. You can follow along in the Prusa assembly instructions. I give you some of my tricks to make it easier for you. Another excellent resource is the online manual from Prusa. See the link below. If you have a problem on a step, read the comments for that section. They can be very handy. Okay, now electronics assembly, plastic parts, and the board with the screws. So the screws are in the box for the board. So prepare the following NC door, which is a smaller one. Okay, top hinge and bottom hinge. So those two. A square nut, M3 square nut and two M310 that we love so much. <laughs> First, insert the nut in the door slot here. And it's, mm, it's slack, so it can fall out. Now locate the two screw, turn the printer around, then find the two screws. So it's the two that are below. So there is two here and two more to the front. Yeah, the two that are the most inward. Take this, the bottom hinge, which is the smaller one. Insert the screw. Locate this. So it's the one that's just flush to the bed. You put the hinge up. Just push the bed a bit. It's easier with the bed in front. Screw in. Make sure the hinge is on top and parallel to the frame. Seems good. Insert this door in the hinge. That's it. Prepare the second hinge. Same thing. So the hinge, the hinge goes in the hole. Then in the frame. I'm gonna hold it in place so that it, it's parallel, or it will move when you tighten. And it moves freely. Good. So you have two hinges that goes like this inside the door. Then wrapping, let's take the last sleeve and a zip tie. I'm gonna split the sleeve because it's, it's kind of stuck, it's melted, so it doesn't fray away. At the end, you have to, yeah. So wrap. Up the sleeve around the cable. Those are nice sleeve. It's kind of a nylon sleeve, I think. And push it up to the motor, then use a zip tie to secure it, but it's only temporary. But you can leave it there if you want to. Prepare. And see base. Three, six, M310. One, two, three, four, five, six. Four square nuts, four hexagonal nuts, the board, the NC base as an, op uh, as an opening for a Raspberry Pi Zero W. If you intend to use this mini computer, you can carefully cut the piece. So you, you have to cut the piece now if you think you're gonna use the Raspberry Pi Zero. And this is cut out already because they test the board before send, sending it. So that's why it's already cut. And you can put the bag underneath you don't, if you don't want any electrostatic charge, discharge in the board. Take your four square nuts prepared early, earlier and insert them in the following position. So one here. At least it won't fall out. Then two here. Yeah. And one inside here. Okay. And they are properly aligned. I don't need to use an Allen key because I saw that it was okay. Then underneath, 
you insert, I'm gonna use the, the long screw, then use it to push in and unscrew. So you do the four corners, the holes are hexagonal too. So four corners. Then what I'm gonna do is insert the M310 nuts first in the board. Then there is a cutout here that is for the USB and a small hole for the reset. So this goes here. I'm gonna try to push it in, keeping the four screws in place. It's easier this way. They're going in the nuts, so it's easy to screw in. No screw in plastic. Make sure the board is flat so you don't bend the board. And tighten the screws, not too much. You don't want to break anything. Use the hole with the blue arrows so the two, the one that's closer to the motor and the second from the top and you put in M310 three or four turns so a screw a hole a screw a hole before mounting the base on the frame take the cable from the x-axis motor see the yellow so you have a yellow this is the x-axis motor and you have an, a small x on a yellow tag so push Push the textile sleeve in the slot and leave some slack on the cable along the board. So it connects to the, the last one. There is two, two small notches that matches those two. There. So like this. So this is the one you use. The closer to the USB, this one, and you bend it a little, but you leave some slack. And this goes down. This is for those two screws here. So you take the board and you slide it on those, on those two screws. Like this. <laughs> The case must be aligned here, so it must be aligned with the frame, so you push it in until it's flush. Then you can use the Allen key with the ball end to go in. How do you do this? Okay, you go from the back, there is a bigger slot for the Allen key here. So using the, the ball end is the way to go. And the other one is accessible from below. But again, with the ball end, it's okay. Nice. The following steps, you, we will manage all the cables on the printer. We've tested several ways and this seems to be the most efficient. In the upcoming, um, in the upcoming steps, please tighten all zip tie carefully as you might pinch break the cables. So no, not too much again. Depending on the PSU type, type, the black PSU, which I have, in case of the black PSU, the cables are going below the extrusion, not above it. This is the only difference. In all steps, the, the management is the same as the silver PSU version. Okay. Start with the Z motor right. Start with the Z motor right. So this one. There is two holes in the frame here. Take out some more zip ties. So you go through the frame and back. And you put the cables 
in the slot then so snug but not tight continue upward using another zip tie create the next loop enter the z-axis cable and all cable from the PSU ah, okay make sure all the cable are below the smooth rods and not interfering with the white carriage okay, so we take this one this one this one and this one it goes here and then you push the tie in then back this and put the cables in between flat here like the loop okay so i'm gonna place the cables the cables nicely like this i think it's so it's nice and flat here so they go flat flat against the, the frame so flat then snug but not too t not tight not just snug so they won't move but you won't cut the cables and they, they must be flat here continue upward using another zip tie to create the next loop insert the y motor cable in the next bundle so the next hole is here you push in a zip tie you push in a zip tie then back underneath then include the y motor cable this so I'm gonna place those first like this then the Y motor cable close down the loop so like this not too tight again you take both the CD cables and you put them inside the channel all the way to the end then you bend the cable down against the frame so you bend them here against the frame okay then another zip tie here without you do not include the uh, the flat cable this underneath then place the cables okay so the the flat cable goes underneath for now slide the zip tie through the circular holes in the frame to create the to create a loop here so you create another loop here this time place the LCD ca cable carefully in the zip tie like this insert the Z, uh, Z axis left motor and all the other cables from the bundle in the flat cables don't tighten the zip tie wait for the next okay so I don't tighten the zip tie this time be very careful tighten the zip tie slightly or you will damage the, the LCD cables. The zip ties should be snug to all the wires in place or tightening can cut the wires. That's it, cables are organized. Okay. So I make a nice bundle of the cables. I think I'm gonna put them flat like this. You need to be lower than this feet so they hold the cables down but that's it that's it cables are organized so nice setup flat here flat here everything is nice and pretty i think i'm going to take a little more slack here so that it doesn't rub on the y-axis 
So like this is good, I think. Nothing is in the way. Let's find out on flipping it. Yeah. That's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Ciao, bye.